God, praise God, praise God. We serve a mighty God. I said we serve a mighty God. He is awesome. Lord Jesus, we love you with all of our hearts, our minds, our soul, our bodies, and our strength, oh God. We love you tonight, oh God. So we love you tonight, oh God. Pour the Holy Ghost out tonight. Visit your people through the Word of God tonight. Encourage your people. Encourage your people. Lift your people up tonight, oh God. Lift them up tonight. God, you know exactly what your people are dealing with. I pray the Holy Spirit, oh God, would send a right now word into your life. I pray that the Holy Ghost would turn your situation completely around in the mighty name of Jesus. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. That's what we are talking about tonight. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. He will he will flee from you in the name of Jesus my God I feel the Holy Ghost the Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower he is a strong tower the righteous my God the righteous they run therein and they are safe from the attacks of the enemy we serve a mighty God we serve a mighty God. Come on, somebody put your hands together and help me give him praise tonight. Help me give our God praise. Hallelujah. God bless you, Debbie and David. My God, we serve an awesome God. Come on, somebody. Help me give our God praise. Help me give him praise tonight. I feel a breakthrough already in the Holy Ghost. God knows exactly where you are. God knows exactly what you're dealing with. But I got good news for you tonight. God is on your side. I say God is on your side. My mama was a preacher. She would have said it like this. If, if God be for you, he is more than the whole world against you. I'm here to tell you tonight that I don't care how the devil has come against you. No weapon. Hey, No weapon. I dare you to open your mouth and declare it. No weapon that's formed against me will be able to prosper. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. I said no weapon. I said no weapon. I said no weapon. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. I feel like preaching. I said no weapon. No weapon. My God, my God, my God, my God. Do you hear what I'm telling you tonight? I say no weapon. Somebody shouted. I say somebody shouted. No weapon. 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 That's formed against you. Will be able to prosper. God is on your side. You go in this year strong. I don't care what came against you. You are going in strong in the name of Jesus. Somebody put your hands together and help me give our God praise. Switch. My God, my God, my God, my God. I said no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon, no weapon. Glory to God. Come on, lift your hands to heaven right now. We're in the presence of God. We're going to get into the word, but let's worship for just a few minutes. Open your mouth and thank him. Begin to love on him. Begin to love on him. My God, I feel the anointing. I feel the presence of God.
I feel the presence of God. I feel the presence of God. Glory to God, Jesus said, upon this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. You are part of the church. You are part of the blood washed church of the living God. And Jesus said, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 5 verse 4, the Bible says, for whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Do you still believe that God is able? The Bible says in the book of Numbers 23, verse 19, the Bible says, God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should have to repent. If God said it, hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel like preaching. I said, I feel like preaching tonight. My God, I'm trying to talk to you, but I feel the Holy Ghost is pushing me tonight. I feel the Holy Ghost is pushing me tonight because somebody that's watching this broadcast right now, you may be watching through YouTube. You may be watching through Periscope, but I'm here to declare to you that there's a breakthrough that's headed to your life. It might have seemed like the devil was about to win. It might seem like your back is against the wall. But God is about to make a way where there seems to be no way. That's what the Holy Ghost told me to declare over the people of God. The Holy Ghost want me to declare to you. The Bible says in the book of James, chapter 4, verse 7, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil. Resist the devil. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. That word resist means you got to stand your ground. That word resist means you got to fight back. That word resist means you got to break out of discouragement. You got to break out of depression. You got to break out and say, devil, enough is enough. I said enough is enough. For the Bible says in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 37, the Bible says, if God be for you, who can be against you? My God, somebody shout, somebody praise him, somebody praise him. My God, my God, my God, my God. My God, my God. My God, my God. My God, I'm talking to I'm talking to somebody tonight that's on the verge of a breakthrough. I'm talking to somebody tonight that's on the verge of a miracle. And the closer you get to your breakthrough, the more discouragement that's coming against you. Listen to me, saints. Listen to me, saints. Just about a week ago. I felt deep in my spirit, man, that we were close to a breakthrough. And all of a sudden, I felt a spirit of heaviness. All of a sudden, I began to get a little discouraged. And I thought, my God, what's going on here? And all of a sudden, the Holy Ghost spoke to me. He said, son, you got to resist the devil. He said, you got to, <clears throat> he said, you got to open your mouth and talk to the devil and tell him where to go. My God, I didn't feel a breakthrough when the Holy Ghost spoke those words to me, but I stood up in faith and I said, devil, enough is enough. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I command you to get out of this house, get out of this place, get out of our way. And all of a sudden, I felt the presence of God I felt the anointing of the Holy Ghost begin to move in my room and all of a sudden I could feel the spirit of the devil on the run. I just felt the enemy 
begin to run. The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 7, your enemy will come against you one way, but they will flee seven different ways. My God, I'm talking to somebody that's on the edge, that's on the verge of a miracle. You on the verge of God visiting your financial life. You on the verge of God opening the door for you to get your house, to get your miracle, to get your financial turnaround. And all of a sudden, you feel discouraged. You want to give up. But the Holy Ghost is sending a word to you tonight. You got to fight back. You got to fight back. You got to stand on the word of God. For the Bible says, life and death is in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat the fruit thereof. The Bible says in Mark chapter 11, verse 23, the Bible says, for whosoever shall say under this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the midst of the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he say shall come to pass he shall have whatever he say I dare you to open your mouth I dare you to open your mouth I dare you to open your mouth and say devil I rebuke you, devil, I bind you, devil, I take authority over you right now in the name of Jesus. For the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19, the Bible says, behold, I've given unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you my God but you got to fight back you got to fight back you got to open your mouth and say devil you attack my finances long enough that I rebuke you in the name of Jesus I command you to take your hands from off my money I command you to take your hands from off my career. I command you to take your hands from off my body. I rebuke sickness out of your body right now in the name of Jesus. My God, my God, my God. Somebody, listen here, somebody's being healed of a heart disease. Just in that moment, when, when the Holy Ghost had me speaking a word, I saw heart disease jump from out of somebody's body. You've been dealing with heart, you've been dealing with heart issues. I believe you have blockage of the heart, but the Holy Ghost, I feel the anointing of God. I feel the anointing of God. I command you to be healed in the name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of infirmity. Come out in the name of Jesus. Loose them and let them go. My God, we come into the close of 2016. We getting ready to go in the 2017. But I believe the Holy Ghost want me to tell you that in 2017 he is going to be the Lord of the breakthrough in your life. He is going to be the God of the breakthrough in your life life. What seems impossible? You getting ready to get a breakthrough. What seems impossible? What you've been denied? What you've been shut out of? What you've been hindered from getting? The Holy Ghost want me to tell you your breakthrough. Your breakthrough. Your breakthrough is here. Somebody shout. Yes. Shut up. the devil. I dare you to open your mouth. Say devil, I resist you. Say devil, I resist you. In the name of Jesus, you got to get out of here. I refuse to be depressed. I refuse to wave the white flag. I refuse to get up. I refuse to let go of the word of God. For the Bible says, God 
God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should have to repent. If he said it, he is going to make it good. If he spoke it, he going to bring it to pass. I'm preaching to somebody that a breakthrough is about to come to pass. The word of God that he has spoken over your life is about to come to pass. Somebody shout. I feel an open heaven right now. Somebody shout. Somebody shout. Someone's getting a breakthrough. Someone's getting a breakthrough. Someone's getting a breakthrough. My God. Somebody help me praise him. Somebody's getting a breakthrough. Somebody's getting a breakthrough. Somebody's getting a miracle. Somebody's getting a turnaround. Somebody's getting a visitation. God's opening a door for somebody right now. Somebody getting a job right now. Somebody's finances taking a turn right now. Somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. David said, from the rising of the sun, even under the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is worthy to be praised. That's why the Bible says, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he will deliver us from the snares of the fowler and the noise and pestilence. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He making me to lie down in green pastures. He leaded me besides the still waters. He anoints my head with oil. My cup runs over. Sole, goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And I'll dwell in the house of God. I'll dwell in the house of God forever and ever. Somebody shout. Somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. Listen here. In that moment there, someone received a healing in their right rotator cuffs. You weren't able to lift your hands all the way up. Switch that for me. I feel the healing anointing here. You weren't able, you weren't able to raise your hands properly. I believe you, you injured yourself right there in the right shoulder. But the healing power of God is coming to you right now. The healing power of the Holy Ghost is being released in your right shoulder. If you begin to take your hand and begin to lift it all the way up, begin to exercise your hand, you notice that all the pain has went totally out of your hand. You completely heal in your right rotator cuffs. I believe you should have had surgery on it, but I believe that surgery is canceled in the name of Jesus. Begin to lift your hands to heaven right now. I feel the power of God. I feel the power of God. I feel the miracle working power of God. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. My God, listen friends, whilst the power of God is moving, if you didn't have a chance to, invite some of your friends. Invite them to be a part of this live broadcast. Invite them, my God, invite your friends to be a part of this live broadcast. Glory to God. I feel the healing anointing of the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Be healed in your body right now. Be healed in your body, in your spine. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I rebuke high blood pressure out of your body. I rebuke low blood pressure. I rebuke sugar diabetes. Be healed in your body. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, resist the devil and he will, he will flee from you. He will. James 4, 7, submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, stand against him, fight him back with the word of God. And the Bible says, he will 
not he might, he will flee from you. That word flee means he will run away from you in terror. He will run away from you being terrified because Christ lives in you. Greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Try those tears. Shake the dust off. The Bible says, though a good man falls seven times, yet he gets up again. My God, I feel a getting up anointing. I feel a getting up anointing touching down on somebody that was about to wave the white flag. I feel a getting up anointing. David said, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies that's around me. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is the strength of my life. Glory to God. We serve a mighty God. You got to fight back. Stand. Take your stand on the word of God. The Bible says, and having done all to stand, stand therefore with your loins good about with truth. Having on the breastplate of righteousness, have your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the word of God, which is the sword of the spirit. The Holy Ghost is talking to you. Quit speaking those negative words. Quit speaking. I want you to declare it. This is my season of breakthrough. Open your mouth and say it. This is my season of breakthrough. Devil, you got to go. You got to go. You got to go. In the name of Jesus. God spoke to Moses because Moses submitted to God. God said, Moses... You've already crossed the Red Sea. Lift up your rod and watch me drown Pharaoh and his army. The Bible says God began to break off the Egyptians' chariot wheels to the point that the Egyptians begin to say, let us flee from the face of Israel for God is fighting for them. And they begin to flee, but it was too late. The Red Sea closed in and collapsed on them. And not one of them escaped. Resist the devil. And he will flee. He will. He will. The Bible says in 2 Samuel chapter 5 verse 17. When the Philistines heard that David was anointed king over the 12 tribes of Israel. The Bible says they came and surrounded the whole area. And David said, Lord, should I go up against the Philistines? And God answered David and said, go. I will deliver them into your hands. And the Bible says David went against the Philistines and they fled and left their idols. And David and his men burn them there. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Goliath gave a challenge to the children of Israel. He didn't realize David had just showed up in the camp. David said, who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? I'll go and fight against him. King Saul said, you are only a child, son. David said, the same God that delivered me from the paw of the bear and the jaw of the lion, this same God will deliver me from this uncircumcised Philistine. King Saul said, go, and the Lord be with you. The Bible says David went out, and he reached into the brook and take up five smooth stones. And Goliath said, am I a dog? Yes, you are, Goliath. Am I a dog that you should come to me with a with stick and stones? He said, this day 
I'm going to feed your flesh to the birds of the air and the fowls of the field. David said, you are wrong, devil. You don't have the last word. I've got the last word as a servant of God. David said, this day, I'm going to cut your head from off of your body. Listen to faith. This man didn't have a sword. He had a slingshot. David said, and all the earth is going to know that there is a God in Israel. Jesus said, you will have whatever you say. David didn't have a sword, but he spoke in faith. I dare you to speak in faith. This is my season of breakthrough. This is my season for my business to turn around. This is my season for my ministry to turn around. This is my season of open doors. And David put that stone in the slingshot and he ran towards Goliath. Some of us would have ran away, but David ran towards him. And when David slinged that stone, it sunk in the Goliath's forehead and he fell on the ground. And David took Goliath's sword and cut his head off. And when the Philistines saw that their champion was dead on the floor, the Bible said they fled and ran away. And Israel chased them down. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Jesus resisted the devil in Matthew 4 and Luke 4. And the Bible says, Satan left him alone for opportune time. He defeated the devil on that 40-day fast. Satan had to get away from Jesus. He was defeated. Listen, the Holy Ghost is allowing me to see in the spirit. The devil is leaving some of your situations alone. He's leaving some of your families alone. Marriages, children, businesses, finances, careers, your jobs. He's leaving it alone. I see him beginning to run. I resist the devil that's coming against you. Satan, loose him in the name of Jesus. We join our faith together. We come against you in the name of Jesus. Satan, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We bind you, devil. We take authority over every principality, every power, every ruler of the darkness of this world, every spiritual wickedness in high places. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. That resistance that was coming against you, it's broken. My God, it's broken. I feel the Holy Ghost. My God. My God. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the anointing. My God, my God, my God. Hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. Yay! I feel a breakthrough. I feel a breakthrough. My God, I feel a breakthrough. I feel a breakthrough. I feel a breakthrough. I feel a breakthrough. Yeah! Yeah, yeah. Breakthrough. I feel a breakthrough. I feel a breakthrough. I feel the wind of the Holy Ghost. I feel the wind of the Holy Ghost. My God, my God, my God. I see the devil on the run. I said, I see the devil on the run. I see the devil on the run. Jesus said to the woman that was believing God to deliver her daughter. Jesus said, woman, the devil is gone from out of your house. The devil is gone. Hey, Satana Baba Santa. He's gone out of your house. He's gone out of your finances. He's gone. He's gone. The breakthrough is here. I said the breakthrough is here. The breakthrough is here. He said, woman, the devil is gone from out of your house. Man, 
the devil is gone from out of your house. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Resist the devil, resist the devil. Resist the devil. And he will, he will flee from you. My God, my God, my God, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She got a little motion. A breakthrough over your life. A breakthrough for the, for 2016. Before this year is closed, a breakthrough is gonna happen in your life. And for some of you, 2017, a breakthrough in the name of Jesus. My God praise him. My God praise him. If you're watching us through YouTube, you can look. To look, you'll see a button, a red button on the bottom of the screen. Click on that button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be bringing you a video every week. I believe God wants to bless your life. I believe God wants to turn things around in your life. So if you look, if you're watching us through YouTube, I want you to subscribe to our channel. <clears throat> There's a red button on the bottom of the screen. My left, but that's your right, I believe, yep. Click that button and subscribe to us. We want to bless your life. We want to bless you. The Bible says, the blessings of God will come upon you and overtake you. My God, my God. And listen, I want to encourage you, don't forget, visit us online, seanpinder.net. Sow a seed into the ministry. The Bible says, give and it shall be given back to you. Good measure, press down, shaken together and running over shall men give into your bosom. A man sent a testimony to us and said, Pastor Sean, my business was struggling. My finances were, were my, my, I was just in trouble financially. Just seemed like a financial curse had been hanging over me and my family. And he said, I begin to watch your videos through YouTube. And my finances took a turn for the better. <laughs> God visited my life and turned my finances around. We have a video where I pray for seven things in your life. Financial breakthrough prayer. Make sure go and watch that video. If you need God to visit your life and give you a financial breakthrough. My God, lift your hands to heaven. I still feel the anointing of God. I just feel a strong flow of the anointing. God's given you a breakthrough. The Bible says... The Bible says in Isaiah 59 verse 19, when the enemy comes against you, the Bible says like a flood, the Holy Ghost will raise up a standard against him. We love you guys. And let me wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year in advance. We love you guys. God bless you. And I look forward to seeing you guys again on next week. Love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.